Hi everybody. We have a summer house in the Stockholm archipelago. That is really nice. But this summer we were bothered by lots of hornets interfering with our outdoor dinner activities. After a short recce mission, we found a large hornet's nest under the roof of our shed. We decided that we, or rather that I, needed to remove the nest in order to freely enjoy our outdoor activities without any potentially hostile interference. There are several different approaches to remove a hornet's nest. You can uh, poke it with a stick or you can spray it with a water hose. Both of these methods have very limited precision. The hornets will swarm and you're likely to get stung and that hurts. So I decided to use a smarter and safer approach. First, I dressed up in coveralls, including a helmet with visor to protect myself against any stray hornets. Secondly, I decided to deceive the hornets with smoke. Using a small smoke gun that I normally use to flavor food, I could cover my approach visually, in infrared, and also obscure any scents from my aftershave. An added benefit with the smoke is that it interferes with the Hornet's intruder alarm system, which is based on scent communication. This way, I managed to get so close to the nest that I could put my gloved hand over the entrance, remove the entire nest, and put it away in a sealed bag. All Hornets still in the nest. No one got stung. Not me, nor my family that watched from a not completely safe distance. Mission completed dinner piece secure. But why am I standing here telling you this story? Well, this is not only the safe and smart way to remove a hornet's nest. It is also the smart and safe way to neutralize modern air defense systems, also known as anti-access area denial systems, or A2AD for short. The effective range of modern air defense system is becoming a serious problem for many nations. As their reach does not consider such things as borders or sovereign airspace. It is like living in a neighborhood where someone is breeding hornets and can release them whenever he thinks that your kids are too loud or that you mow your lawn too early in the morning. As an example, the Russia-designed S-400 Triumph system can engage aircraft up to 400 kilometers away. The smaller and lighter S-300 system has a range of only 150 kilometers, but can be installed on ships, where they from international waters can project a rather serious threat to any aircraft within that range. That means that someone with a hostile intent could control and restrict any air operations in an area the size of Poland or France or Spain. Such an A to AD threat must be countered in an effective way, should it ever materialize too close to your territory. There are different approaches to counter these systems. One is to permanently destroy the air defense system by using missiles that home into the radiation from the radars used or home into the position where the system is located. This, however, will require that the rules of engagement allows for weapons release, like in an all-out war situation. Another approach is to use extremely powerful standoff or background jammers that from a safe distance use deception techniques to confuse the raiders in the SAM system. That, however, requires extremely expensive, high-value platforms that few nations can afford in their inventory. But there is also a third and smarter approach, and that is to use escort jammers where you take ordinary fighters or strike aircraft and equip them with jammer pods that, using smart deception te techniques, can shield an entire formation of aircraft from being engaged by the SAM systems. At Saab, we are in the final development stages of a new family of electronic warfare protection system called Arexis. One version of Arexis will be installed in the new version of Gripen, Gripen E. 
it will be one of the most advanced EW systems ever installed in a fighter aircraft. This self-protection system is the equivalent of my coveralls and helmet. It will provide excellent protection against most threats, but it cannot completely shield an approach for a whole formation of aircraft against the new low-frequency radars that are starting to be used by some modern air defense systems. For that, we need something even more powerful, like the smoke gun I used against the Hornets. So, we are taking the core technologies from our Exis, such as ultra-wideband digital receivers and DRFMs, precision direction finding systems and gallium nitride-based electronic ISAs transmitters, and we take these, convert them to the lower frequencies as required, and install everything in a pod shell to provide electronic attack capabilities as a role fit solution to any fighter aircraft. This electronic attack jammer pod will have the capability to screen an entire formation of aircraft from being engaged by the surveillance radars also operating at low frequencies. So, whether you want to neutralize a hornet's nest or a potentially hostile A to AD system, you should use a smart approach where you make sure to protect your own assets and use deception techniques to confuse your opponent and reduce the effectiveness of his sensors and communication systems. At Saab, we have developed Erexis, one of the most, world's most advanced EW systems that will protect Grip and E. Now, we are designing an electronic attack jammer pod based on this technology to provide escort jamming capabilities to any fighter. Thank you.